Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Today I am going to show you these. <laughs> these are what is called basically mystery mosaics and they're coloring books and I'll be really honest with you when I first saw these I was like no, no show, no. Um, didn't want to do it, thought it was you know, going to be too time consuming, um, all of that. Now I have not done any of these yet. I haven't tried any of them. Um, I have quickly flipped through some of them, but I want to do quick flip throughs of these to show you the difference between, um, ones with larger squares and more definitive lines. Um, as compared to some of the other ones that I'm going to have to be using my glasses to see because, you know, yeah. Okay. So, um, and this is, uh, I'm going to go in order of, I guess just how I want to. So anyway, I saw this one. Let me put these to the side. Um, and today you get, um, you get Jabba. Jabba is not feeling well, you guys. Uh, she has hurt her leg. Um, and she's not moving around very well. So, and this just happened yesterday. Um, she was better last night. She was moving around. She ate. Um, and then today she's just been there and hasn't really gotten up. So I'm keeping an eye on her. And if it gets really bad. I'm going to go ahead and take her up to our emergency vet. So everybody, please keep, keep Java in your thoughts and prayers. Um, I've kicked blue out of my art room so that she can lay here in peace. <laughs> she has other places she could lay, but she decided this was where she wanted to sleep right now. So anyway, okay. Um, this one is called mosaic art sea creatures. And this is by Sasha Sash. Deva? Slash Diva? I know I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. Anyway. Okay. So, first of all, I want you guys to tell me how many of you have any of these type of books, what you think of them, um, is it enjoyable to you? Uh, for those of you that, that do a lot of coloring and even diamond painting, is this something that that you like to do? I'm, I'm a little hesitant about it just because I think it's going to be frustrating for me. Um, but we'll see. And all these books I got off Amazon, just so you know. Okay. This is Mosaic Art, Color by Number Sea Creatures. I had to get it. I mean, it has a turtle in it. Um, has 25 illustrations of sea animals, which will come to life after coloring in each of the tiny boxes on each page. Um, says they're in a mosaic pattern. So the final image is a surprise until it's completed. Uh, this book has 34 colors of palette, which is located at the back side of the cover. And we'll look at that in a minute. Um, you can try your palette on the pages placed in the end of the book. Okay, so it's got a, pa a palette page. Um, yada yada. Uh, this book is fun for grown-ups and for kids. Who can color with precision? Okay. Ooh, yikes. Okay. <laughs> the spaces are very small, so you need an ultra fine point Sharpies or Bic markers. Now, I think you could use fine liners with this or even pencil if you wanted to. Um, I don't think it has to be Sharpie or Bic as long as it's an ultra fine tip point. And I've got a couple of um, ultra fine tips out so that we're going to try it. Um, yeah. So Sashan Sashdeva is the author and illustrator of this book. I had never heard of this book. Okay, so this is what the book looks like. Now, I know that looks really small, but in honesty, compared to some of the other books, it's not. Okay, see if you see the squares, they're pretty easy to read. You know, you got all your numbers. And then at the bottom, you've got the colors that they want you to use. And I mean, you can use whatever, whatever color you want. I mean, you don't have to follow this. Um, you don't have to follow that if you don't want to, you could just randomly put colors on the page, 
whatevs, you know. Okay, so I want to just give you an example of that. Now, in this book, anything that's black right here are the eyes of whatever creature they're doing. So, like I can tell this one, I mean, you can faintly see the outline of the image if you look at it from far away. And like in the webcam, I can see that's a fish with some stuff down here. And that is... I honestly I don't know what that is but I think that's kind of fun that you don't you don't know what it is until you're actually gonna color it you know what I mean like I don't know what that is I have no idea um, I have no clue <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know uh, I don't know. I, okay, I can tell that's a fish. Because you can see the outline here. And you can tell that's the eye. Um, that one doesn't have an eye, so not sure. Okay, that has three eyes. <laughs> it might be more than one, like, it might be like three fish. That's probably what it is. It's probably like three fish. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell what that is. Um, that almost looks like it could be like a a ray because it's in that shape. Maybe. Okay, that looks like one of those um, like swordfish because it's got the long. You can see the long thing here. Yeah, I don't know. These books just intrigued me. I've, I've watched a few people on YouTube um, do these books. Like, I haven't watched somebody actually sit there and do them, but I've watched, you know, them showing their finished versions of, of these. And they actually, they look really cool. Now, I marked this one because I know this one is the sea turtle, and this is the one we're going to try. I'm going to put, I'm going to work on one color and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, this one is fairly easy to see the numbers. I don't feel like I have to wear my glasses for this one. You've got a really nice, down here, you've got your, your nice, uh, legend of what colors they're telling you to use. So yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm just going to keep flip. Okay. So thank you for purchasing the book. Okay. All right, so this book, and I didn't know this, um, this is a self-published author and illustrator. So, um, yeah. So I need to go and put a review on this once I try it on Amazon. Oh, and you've got a email address where you can contact the, the artist of the book. Nice. I respond to all the emails I receive. That's really nice. Okay. So here you have a color testing page. That's awesome. Oh, you have two colors. Wow. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Okay, so you get five color testing pages. That's nice. Okay, and on the back cover, um, and that's what the sea turtle should, should end up looking like. You got a crab and a whale and um, an octopus. And this is your color chart down here. So I thought this was a really cool looking book and I love sea, sea life. So I figured I'd give this one a shot because it was one that was different from all the other ones that people have. I like to stray away from the norm a little bit. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to try this one in a minute, but I want to show you the other ones I got. Ooh. Hope everybody's doing okay today. We're having, um, we're actually having a little bit of a remnant from the tropical storm Arthur. That's, uh, we're just getting some of the outer bands here. Okay, now I watched, I'll be really honest with you, I watched Anne from A Colorful Life. She had one of these books from Mindware. So I ordered book one and book two um, of these. 
I don't know why I got two. I don't know why I have five of these books, you guys. I haven't even tried it. I don't even know if I'm going to like it, but you know, I, I got five of these books. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so this one is pretty cool because, all right, when you open up this, um, it gives you a color palette here, which is nice. Um, kind of tells you, shows you what the blank page looks like versus the finished page. Um, they're trying to sell you their, their colored pencils. I've never tried their colored pencils. I don't know if they're good or not. Um, if anybody has, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so now this one is different. These are, let me make sure, hold on. I don't think... Are those perforated? No. Okay, the first book I showed you does not have perforated pages. This one does have perforated pages. So you can tear out the finished page. And you can tear it out above, I'm sorry, beneath where they have the color chart. Now, I don't care for the color chart being sideways like that. Um, I prefer it to be on the bottom of the page just because, you know, you're coloring the page and it's normal to look down here for me. So I don't really like the the sideways color chart. Okay, let me hold this up for you. Um, these numbers are a little bit smaller and a little bit more faint, which has its pros and cons. They're going to be harder to see, but they're probably you're probably going to be able to cover them up a little bit easier. And then over to the side, you've got your you know your your colors they're telling you to use. So yeah. All right, now looking at this in the viewfinder, I can tell that's a, yeah, an animal of some sort. Almost a giraffe, maybe? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through every single page, but the, that's nice about this book is the, the outlines of the boxes are nice. Um, the numbers are still legible. Let me find one. Now, these have actual... Can get it. Yeah. Okay. So these come open into a full two page spread that, like I said, you can just tear out, you know, that's really nice. And I think there are like two or three of these two page spreads in this book. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to go through that now in the back. Um, Then they give you a page from Mindware's uh, Color by Number books. This is a sample of Wild Wonder series. That's really cool. It's a, it's parrots, and that's that's pretty easy to see the numbers. Y'all can see the numbers. It's pretty easy to see. Um, that might be fun. I have a couple of color by number books as well. So, okay. And back here, it shows you all of the different um, images you're going to get in this book. So, yeah, the first one was a giraffe. Ah, I haven't even looked at this. <clears throat> look at that. And the dragon as the two page spread. Ooh, look at that. That's a two page spread. The peacock. I know Anne's going to love that one. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a two-page spread. So that's a pretty cool book. So, yeah, when I saw um, Anne from A Cult for Life show one of these books, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and, and try a couple of these. So, like I said, I've got one and two of these books. And they have, like, 15, 16 of these books. Um, I'll show you the pages out of this one. This is book two. Um, this way you can see it before you buy it because I don't know if it shows you all of these images on Amazon. Uh, this one. Oh, look. Two-page spread. You get a cow with a barn. That's really cool. Oh, and a race car. Look at that. Fish. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, an ice cream sundae. A banana. It almost looks like, is it a banana split? No, I don't see the banana in there. Just the ice cream. The frog. Shaleen, look. It's froggy. So, yeah. Alright, so those are the two mystery mosaic books 
that I got from Mindware. One and two. And I'm going to have these down. I'll have these down below links that you can go check it out. Okay. So the next one I'm going to show you, this one is from Sun Life Drawing. Coloring Quest. And also, let me know in the comments below, um, like I said, how many of you have any of these books um, and what you think of these. Now, these are a little different. These are in um, circles instead of squares. The front of the page, it tells you what each page will be when it's finished. I mean, it goes in order, obviously. Um, so you do, you get like a hummingbird, uh, octopus, sugar skull, Winnie the Pooh, uh, Red Riding Hood with the gray wolf, flamingo, tiger, grapes, ladybug. I mean, you get all kinds of different things. Superman, um, a pirate. Yeah. Okay. So here is where you do your color palette. And this is nice. I have this in another one of my books. Which one is it? Um, let's see. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. So this one, this one is color by number animal stencils. I did it with this one. So I went ahead and put down the colors that I'm using and I wrote which marker, like which brand and which color marker I use for these. So this, this is actually really helpful. I like that some like drawing does that. Um, yeah. Okay. And this is Sun Life Drawing and they've got it on the whole page over here is your, is your color code. Now this is small. This is really small. Um, I mean, you can see the numbers, but it's small. It's small. So like this to me, would take a really long time. Like you, you can barely see, but like it's a hummingbird and you can see the bird right here. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, well actually some of them are round and some of them are square. Okay. Look, here's a square one. I didn't know that. I don't know which one that is, but that's a square one. So Oh. Yeah, so this is Sun Life Drawing. Um, yeah, love Sun Life Drawing books. So, and then they've got the color palette on the back as well, on the back of the book, and then they give you other books down here that you can check out. So, this one is a little almost too small for me, um, but we'll we'll try it and see. So that's Coloring Quest. Um, by Sun Life Drawing. And then this one I watched um, uh, Crafting with Christy. She had one of these books. It wasn't this one. It was another one. I, don't know, I think it was the dog book. I'm not sure. Anyway, Mystery Mosaics. This is from the Belba family. And uh, this one is Cats. I got this one off Amazon. Um, so they have other books as well. Palette of 22 colors. Um, yeah. And all of these pages are single sided, which is great. And just remember to always put, um, put something underneath each page so you don't get color in the off the page. Okay. So they've got the name of each cat and what type of cat it is on the index. That's nice. Very cool. Oh, look. And on the left side, you got just the cat wallpaper. That's cool. Okay, y'all, this is teeny tiny. But you can see the image. Like, from far away, you can see. Here's the cat. You can see. I'll hold that up to you so you can see the symbols. So, I mean, they're, they're easy to see. It's just this is teeny tiny tiny little numbers <laughs> and you've got your your code over here to the left of your numbers um i don't think these are perforated no these are not perforated so um yeah oh that's cool and look and you've got i like that they put the black on the opposite side it helps with the bleed through of markers so that's cool all right i'm not going to go through each one of these because 
that'll probably make y'all crazy. Um, but yeah, so there are a bunch of different cats in here. Uh, and again, this is from the Belba family. Um, and I got these off Amazon. So, and on the back, you've got your color chart here. And you've got a few pictures of what, um, of what they're going to look like. So if you like cats, get it, Shug. Get it. I thought it was very cute. So, and they're, they're going to be, they're going to look pixelated. I mean, it's, it's like diamond painting. You're, you're coloring, you're doing boxes of, of color. So, um, but I'm okay with that. I think it, it's a cool image that looks, you know, like a cat. So, all right. So those are the books that I have. We're going to test out this one, the Mosaic Art Sea Creatures color band number. Okay, so let me try to bring you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay, hopefully that will focus. Get you in close. All right, so we're going to do the light green, which I'm going to be using a Premiere by Nicole extra fine tip marker. And you know what? I need to get, I've got it over here. Just need a piece of paper to put underneath. Actually, two. I always put two pa two pieces of um, like thick white paper, stock cardstock type paper. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna be coloring number ten now. I know a lot of people use the X method. Um, I have never done that before. I'm actually going to try and use just coloring in the box on this one and then another one I'll try the X method but I wanted to color in the box of these first. Let's hope my marker is okay. All right and some of these boxes are the number is split in the boxes. I don't know if you can see that there's there's a line across the box so you're going to do half the box in the color. Oh wow. Okay. And I have to be careful because um, I'm used to doing this on, yeah, okay, now I know why people use the X's. This will take forever to fill in the box. How many of you fill in the box? <clears throat> of course I pick a marker that's dried out. Awesome. Way to go me, right? Okay, well that's not good. Yeah, completely dried out. Yay! That's okay. Let's find us another marker. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I should have tested it first, right? Yep, that's my bad. My bad! Okay, we're gonna go with a big intensity. This one is key lime. So, all right, it's probably going to be a different color green, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to use the X method because. Yeah, this is definitely going to be hard to do filling in the box. Wow, this is going to take forever. <laughs> Yikes. I love these markers though. Um, I have not used Sharpies. I do not have Sharpies. Um, <clears throat> I have a set of them on my wish list for my birthday. Um, and that wish list is for my family, so um, I don't make that public to anybody. Um, so hopefully I'll get some Sharpies to try and see the difference between these and the Sharpies. But I, I love, 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 love these markers as far as for an extra fine tip 
They're very juicy. And they have awesome color. Yeah, see, my hand is starting to shake a little bit. I have arthritis in my hand, so when I try to focus on detail, I get shaky. Yet another reason why I don't really use colored pencil a whole lot anymore. Um, it just, it hurts my hand. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do the head of, of this turtle here and then <clears throat> I'm going to switch to another page and try a few X's and see. Yeah, this is... Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool. But I, I almost think I like the the um, stencil ones better, like the normal color by number. <clears throat> I don't know. What, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the mystery mosaics or the normal color by number uh, books? Let me know. This isn't so bad. I was just really intrigued by it. Like, I I don't remember doing any of these books when I was a kid. Um, I'm sure there were color by number books out. I remember doing like color by sticker. Did any of you do that? I did color by sticker. I had a lot of those books, like My Pretty Pony. Oh my gosh, I was a My Pretty Pony fanatic. I had every single My Little Pony you could get. My mom said that's like all I ever, ever wanted to play with. Um, yeah, but I had, I had sticker books of My Pretty Pony, I knew that. And of course Barbie. Um, I think I had some dinosaur ones. Yeah, I remember that. And I used to actually have like, did any of you have like sticker albums? Y'all, I had so many sticker albums. It was ridiculous. My mom said when I went to college, she like trashed every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, she said it was just books and books of them in the attic. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I I could do this, but yeah, man, my hand's shaking. I'm trying to get focused on this little little box. I mean, I could see where this would be good to relieve stress and anxiety because you're gonna really be focusing on this little box. I can't decide though if it is going to make me more anxious trying to stay inside the lines. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Oop, I just went outside the line. Okay. Let me do this one little thing here, and then we're going to swap, and we're going to go to a different page. But you can definitely see that that's going to be, that's going to be a turtle. That's like his little head right here. Kind of cool, kind of cool, right? Okay. I wanted to at least try it on camera so you could see it. Okay. Let's go over to, I need one that has a number 10 in it. Okay, this one has a number 10. All right. Okay, so number 10, I know you can't see that down here. It's light green. So we've got some 10. Now I'm gonna try the X method. And again, always make sure you have something behind your page if you're using permanent marker. 
or any marker for that matter. Okay, so you're just gonna do an X with the color. Um, that's gonna be hard to do because it's half of a, hmm, how do I do that? Okay, do that. Now do y'all connect the lines where you do your X's? Like to the next one here? I guess that would make sense. I know, I'm going slow with this. This is the first time I've ever done this. Doing anything that's number 10. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if I like this or not. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but I don't know. I will tell you this, this is like diamond painting. You think you get it all done and then another one pops up. It's like they breed on the page. Okay, it's not so bad once you get in a rhythm of it, I guess. I'd really like to know like what you think. Oh no, computer. Oh, okay. Um, I'd really like to know what. Is it, oh, really? <laughs> I need to turn that off. Um, oh my gosh. I'm getting an Amazon package today and it's telling me that it's being delivered today. Um, I ordered some sealer. Did I just do a 13? I did. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, crap. Let's see, I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Anyway, I ordered some sealer to try on a diamond painting. So, I'm going to do that on a video as well. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm going to try it. Okay. So, you all get the idea. So, you could either do the X method like this or you can fill in the box. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is much easier than filling in the box. <laughs> filling in the box is kind of difficult. Although, I mean, every picture I see, like on the back, it, it shows the box is filled in. So I don't think it, it was meant to do the X method, but I mean, you can do what you want. It's your coloring book. Do what you want. All right. So, yeah. So, this is mosaic coloring kind of kind of different I think I, I don't want to like judge it until I do like an entire page um, and see you know the end result of an entire page these little half boxes are messing with me though because I don't know I don't know like how to do the half box like you know like how do you do the half box you just do a little X? I don't know. I'm just going to do a little X. I'm just going to finish these tens and call it, y'all. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these little tens. Okay. Oh, there's one. I know I'm going to miss like a bunch of them. But that's okay. Right here. 
I know y'all are yelling at me. You're missing one. There's one. Okay. There's one, there's one, there's one. Gosh, there are a lot of these. Oh, look, a big one. Okay. Did I get them all? Tell me where I missed one, y'all. Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> oh, right. You can't tell me. Okay. So, anyway. So, that is the X method. Like, you just... You just take a, a marker and you X using the, the color. Again, first time ever doing this, so yay me. I don't know. I think I think the filled in box is going to look obviously better, like more defined than X's. That's just my opinion, though. Just my opinion. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull you back up here. So, yeah. So, that is Mosaic Art and Mystery Mosaics. Those are the books that I got. All kinds of different books. Whee! So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I am interested to know. So anyway, I hope everybody has a fabulous day. And I'll put the links for all of these down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you for clicking on the link. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know um, when I put up random videos. Like, you know, giving away square diamond paintings. Which is going to happen very soon. As soon as I go through them. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, any of you that... Um, like to diamond paint definitely keep an eye uh, for that coming up so and again thank you to all of my patreons uh love all of you um your support helps me bring new content to the channel so thank you so much i uh, really appreciate it and yeah i will see you guys on thursday for a diamond painting video it might be a whip and chat it might be an unboxing who knows but anyway everybody have a fabulous day and i will see you again really soon bye